So what we're looking at here is the 2012 Jeep Wrangler Altitude Edition. Most of the packages that we've put together for Wrangler, they focus more on the outdoors, um, more on specific parts of the world and where we can go with it. We had the Mojave Edition, the Arctic Edition, we've had the Islander Edition. This one was a little more of a broad appeal. This is really a more upscale version, a little more sophisticated, a little more urban looking. It's a little more street than what we've shown before. One of the things I think is, is pretty cool about this package is the wheel and tire combination. A lot of the guys in aftermarket are doing these black wheels with these bright accents. We actually ended up painting the inside spokes to give it that dark look. Left the ring on the outside here. When you see this thing from far back, you see that big trim ring, the big bright trim ring. The applique on the front bumper, something we had never done before was paint this body color. Something else new to the front is the Jeep badge. We've never done that black before. It's always usually been chrome. Got the body color flares, which really helps widen the thing. It's a much more aggressive stance. The decal on the hood is something else that's pretty cool too. This was one of the original sketches that led to the final decal. Once we had sort of the footprint that we liked, um, had to figure out what exactly went on the decal. We ended up grabbing, I think, a satellite image of a mountain range, and I took it into Photoshop, blew the contrast out so that we could find the edges of it and then turn that into math data that we could then apply to the decal. If you haven't driven a Wrangler in the last few years, you'd be shocked when you get in one of these right now. Heated leather seats, you can get an in-dash nav unit. The piano black appliques are unique for the altitude. On the steering wheel, got them on the grab handle here for the passenger. Also have them on the air conditioning vents here. They all get the, uh, the black leather seat with the red accent stitching. It's not a huge in-your-face contrast. It's more of that subtle tone-on-tone -tone look that we're trying to go for. Didn't change the horn for the altitude package. The Wrangler is like a Porsche 911. It's like um, you know a Corvette. It's one of those timeless cars. Typically, a designer wants to change any car that they work on. This one, we're never gonna radically change it. It's bigger than what any one designer is. You wanna change it, but it wants to be a slow evolution. You don't wanna tear up the foundation that's already there. This car's an icon, so, I mean, it's hard not to be excited about working on it.